There are two ways to do dhikr. One is lisani dhikr, which is done with the tongue. And the other dhikr is the dhikr of the heart, qalbi dhikr, which is done by the heart. And the difference between both is this, that lisani dhikr, when an individual does lisani dhikr, then with his tongue, he also is audible, you can hear the voice, and with the voice, he also moves the tongue, and the body is moved, and then he remembers Allah. Qalbi dhikr is silent dhikr. Silent dhikr, he stops the tongue, the tongue ceases to move, and the way to do that is to attach the tongue to the palate, and he stops the any voice coming out, no audible voice, and rather than the tongue and the voice, he does the dhikr in his heart. So how does a person do dhikr with his heart? The method for this is this, that with a Sheikh Kamil, he has to make a connection, a relationship, and then he has to understand and learn that dhikr from the teacher. This dhikr, this dhikr, remembrance of Allah, he stated that this is 70 times greater than dhikr performed by the tongue. In this dhikr, qalbi dhikr, there are many benefits of qalbi dhikr, dhikr of the heart. With this dhikr, a person attains maqams, alladheena yadhkuroon Allah qiyamah wa quudan wa ala junubihim. Allah has mentioned in the Qur'an that remember me walking, sitting, lying down, always remember me. So to attain this status and condition, you have to perform dhikr qalbi. When an individual works hard on this, focuses on this, and the way to work hard on this, make effort, is that your shaykh, he will tell you how to make effort on this. Generally speaking, I'm uh, speaking to you, generally. Obviously, when people have a link with me, a connection with me, then they can take this benefit. So for this dhikr, qalbi dhikr, the first benefit that's been mentioned is this, that the maqam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, that the servant, my servant, his connection with me should be such that not for a moment should he be ghafil, negligent. So to not be negligent and lazy, the best way, the greatest way is this, that a person should start to remember Allah with his heart. And in this, the great achievement is this, that when a person starts to do qalbi dhikr, dhikr in the heart, then a few things develop, various things develop. Whatever Allah Ta'ala wants on his heart, Allah Ta'ala can allow to come onto his heart. But the first thing that attain, is attained in the first sitting is that always the, the heart learns to remain attentive to Allah, connected to Allah. He, he has an awareness, a consciousness. The heart becomes alive. The qalb starts to do the work. And... Every moment he is focused and paying attention to Allah, that person. And insan, spiritually his emotion and condition starts to improve and change. Because the human being is not close via the body physically. Rather Allah says, you get close to me via your ruh, your soul. So the ruh starts to travel towards its genuine end, uh, genuine destination, which is the world of the, the spiritual world. And every moment he gets close to his Lord. And for this reason, Allah's qurb, Allah's nearness, this very uh, important point. So listen to what I'm saying. To attain Allah's nearness, there's no limit to Allah's nearness. To attain Allah's qurb, his nearness, his closeness, yes, there's no limit because... Allah Ta'ala Himself says that the qurb never ends. So the way to get through to me, the best way to get to me, Allah says, is dhikrullah. And there's no limit to dhikrullah. Yes, every ibadah Allah has um, assigned a limit, an upper limit. But that's why Allah hasn't put any limit on dhikr. 
Wherever you see that in the Quran when dhikr is mentioned, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasn't said a set a limit, rather Allah always says kathir. Allah doesn't say just do it once. Allah says kathir. Kathir is where there's no upper limit, unlimited, no quantity fixed. And there's another reason for this. Because dhikr, there's no quantity of how many times to say, if you sleep, even then your heart is beating. When you're working, even then your heart is beating. So the heart becomes silent at that time when Allah Ta'ala decides that this person transfer him back to me. Transfer him to me. So when a person passes away, then the heart goes silent. Then its work finishes at that time. So for this reason, every moment when he remembers Allah, then there's only one tasbih and that is the heart. And that tasbih, when it starts with the qalbi dhikr, then every moment he is starting to remember Allah Ta'ala. So in this, a person is working, he's a thakir, whilst he's sleeping, he's still a thakir, he's walking, he's moving, he's still a thakir. In other words, in every position, condition, he is the thakir, remembering Allah. So this is qalbi dhikr, just a summary that I've shared with you. But my friends, remember this. وَجَهَدُوا فِينَ لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلُنَا even a child, if he doesn't cry, then the, the mother doesn't feed the milk. Even then she's waiting that he cries and I give milk. So the demand that Allah Ta'ala has taught to the child unconsciously is that Allah Ta'ala has taught the child to cry. That every action is fulfilled for the child through crying. Yes, otherwise, even without crying, Allah Ta'ala could uh, allow that his requirements fulfilled. But Allah Ta'ala says, until you don't make effort. So this same way, likewise, that you will only get the milk from the breast of the mother when you try. And your maqam, your trying is that you need to learn to cry. So my brothers, it's not just this, that we've learned dhikr and we've gone. Allah Ta'ala likes that my servant always, every moment, keeps working hard for me, making effort for me. Any ibadah, if you don't make effort, if you don't try. So the biggest effort is, what's, what's your name? Remember this. The biggest effort is that you are the saliks. MashaAllah, you are the travelers on the path to Allah. So note this point, that the real effort is what? Not this of quantity, 100,000 dhikr, 500,000 or 600,000 quantity. This is not effort. Effort is this, is called istiqamat. That one action, doing it always, even if you do a little bit, but you do it all the time. Yes, your amal, your deeds, don't just leave them to Ramadan. That when the next Ramadan comes, then I'll start dhikr. If Ramadan comes, then I'll sit, start to sit with the sheikh. And the whole of Ramadan, people sit um, regularly. And we have to live the rest of their life. We say, oh, the rest of the 11 months during the year, we'll just enjoy. We'll just come in the month of Ramadan. We'll get everything, all the maqam and the status. So Allah Ta'ala wants that the, all the other months, that He could have made all of them Ramadan. But no. Allah Ta'ala has said, I want to see that which man works hard and stays with me. Who makes effort and comes to me. So Allah Ta'ala's karam, blessing is that He gave us such a month that our laziness to get rid of that, Allah Ta'ala made us practice during this month of Ramadan. So we're being told that what is hard work and effort. If you continue this, then you will arrive to Allah's qurb, Allah's marifa. Wajahdu. What's the effort? What's the effort for dhikr? Istiqamat, steadfastness, regularity, consistency, always. And another thing with dhikr, what is written here? Kathir. That totally, it's unlimited. Kathir. And on top of that, Allah Ta'ala has given times that morning and evening. Sabhu bukratan wa asila. Allah Ta'ala said Himself that morning and evening. Morning and evening is the real, the proper time when you should remember me. Allah has given the time as well, and Allah has given the quantity as well, unlimited, and the times as well, and dhikr as well. And Allah says, that وَذْكُرُ sama. Allah says, my name, remember my name. Don't remember my qualities, attributes, my personal name. Allah has given us His personal name. Tell me, what a great makam Allah's personal name, Allah says, remember me, and not my safat. So three things Allah Ta'ala has given to us completely in the Qur'an Allah has explained to us. Do my dhikr of my name Allah says and quantity 
is that the heart, you should do dhikr in the heart. Kathir, only the heart can do, the tongue cannot do. Allah has explained. Alhamdulillah. The, what dhikr is this? Allah. And wh- how much do we do? With the heart, kathir. And when do we do it? Morning and evening. And what's the mujahidah, the effort for this? Istaqamat. Sit in the morning. You're back, you have to go to work, you have to sleep, whatever you're doing. Ten minutes, sit down. Five minutes, you go, sit down five minutes. Our mashayikh say, even if three times, you sit down and say three times, Allah in your heart, you are a dhakir. So you are included in kathir because you are on istiqamat. Enough, if you do that, that three times you sit down and close your eyes and the women folk are listening because the women folk are a little bit weak. The sisters, so for them, they've been let off that five times, that they've been let off that even if you don't have wudu, still do dhikr. Even more let off that all the thoughts are coming in your heart when you close your eyes, lots of thoughts are coming, anger, whatever's coming, even then you will get the complete reward of dhikr will arrive to you. And more let off that whilst you're doing dhikr and maragba, even if you're drowsy and you're snoring, even then your ruh is attaining the benefit of the dhikr of Allah. And more of a let off, Allah says, that if you don't feel like it, you have no desire, you don't want to do dhikr, you don't gain any enjoyment. Allah says, even then if you sit in dhikr, you'll get double the reward because without enjoyment and satisfaction, you're doing dhikr of Allah. Yes, obviously everybody does zikr with enjoyment. All will eat the sweet things. Who will eat a bitter thing? Yeah, everyone leaves a bitter thing. No, no, this is bitter. I don't want it. So when you don't feel like it, your heart doesn't feel like it, you don't get enjoyment, you're feeling drowsy, sleepy, but you keep the istikamat existent, steadfast, consistent, and you sit down, then Allah says that even then you are a dhakir. And I'll give you the reward. So my brothers... And Ramadan is making us practice, alhamdulillah, of this thing. So with this practice, keep it continuous throughout the rest of the year, 11 months. Alhamdulillah, good, great piece of news. Then Allah says, when I see you in the hereafter, radiyatam maradiyya, you will be happy with me and I'll be happy with you, Allah says. May Allah ta'ala give us the tawfiq, ability to work hard, make effort. Close your eyes, focus towards the heart. Subhanallah. And always... Purify the heart of thoughts, keep it clean and totally with focus and do uh, uh, remember Allah Ta'ala, all his attributes, his qualities and Allah is free from all defects. He's our Rabb, he's our Lord, our Malik, our owner, our creator. It's his blessings that his karam, his mercy has given us permission to remember him. And a bigger mercy that Allah takes us out of negligence. Alhamdulillah, in these adeem nights, Allah sits us down in the form of an assembly gathering. Allah says, you come to a gathering, then I will remember you in a gathering. If you remember me alone, then I will remember you alone. Subhanallah, what great rewards combine. So... Because this is the month of practice. This is the month of practice Allah says given to you. So in this what we need to do is totally, completely we need to practice. Completely we need to practice. In the same way we're going to live our life and we're going to take this practice throughout this month. And then any majlis of dhikr we are not going to leave it because we're practicing so that we can carry on traveling the rest of the year. If we fail now during the practice season, then we'll fail afterwards. So in this month of practice, everything completely practice it, so that that practice for the rest of the year remains continuous and existent. So in this month, any majlis, there is, they should, you should not reject any majlis, you should not miss any majlis. If you really are seeking Allah's qurb, Allah's nearness, Allah's love, and irfan, you want a high status in the akhirah, then practice this amal, what's the practice of this amal? That morning and evening, three times we have gatherings, majalis, summarize um, and reduce your other work, reduce your other work, because in this you should do that work which is most necessary, more necessary for us for our hereafter. So reduce other things because they're just for the dunya. So cut that down, don't leave it, just cut it down and give more time to those actions that are related to our akhirah that we are going to take with us. And so that we can practice that now for, and continue for the rest of the year. May Allah Ta'ala give me and you all the tawfiq ability. Ameen. Close your eyes and remember Allah in your heart. And those who have not learned dhikr, then learn this dhikr.